this is Howard Walensky for Skype, and I'm speaking with uh, Zach Sunderland, who is uh, making a journey across the world on the water. And where are you at now, Zach? Yeah, I'm in uh, Cape Town right now, after about seven months out at sea from uh, California. So, uh, how's it been going so far? It's been good. Um, Started out, left, went to Hawaii, uh, went to the Marshall Islands and Papua New Guinea, Australia. Then uh, carried on from Australia across the Indian Ocean, Kirkus Keeling, uh, Mauritius, then went to uh, South Africa, hit uh, Durban, then hopped around the coast down to Cape Town. So it's been a pretty crazy uh, seven months. And, and mo most of the time, well, how long, how long have you actually been uh, on the water? Uh, been on the water as in like my whole life or longest trip on this, um, the longest passage on this trip. I see, but uh, the, I mean, how many how many ports have you put into on this trip? Oh, on this trip, I, uh, uh, well, I'm not sure the number, but I've been out for about seven months, and of that, it's probably about uh, five, six months of sailing. Um, and, you know, it takes about 20 days to get to different ports, depending on how, uh, how far. And, and uh, basically, what is your goal in this trip? Are you, are you going to be the youngest person to have ever done this? Yeah, I'm trying to be the youngest solo circumnavigator, the youngest person to sail around the world alone. Um, should uh, work out for me really well if I uh, get back about a year to... Uh, a little less than a year to get back and still break the record. The record right now is 18 and 41 days. That's uh, the age of the guy when he got back. Um, so as long as I get back when I'm still 17, I just turned 17. I'll be uh, I'll be in there in the record. So it's looking good. Where, where were you when you celebrated your 17th birthday? Oh, that's that's really not a good subject. I was out in the uh, Indian Ocean between Mauritius and Der. Durban, yeah, and it's pretty, uh, not much going on out there, you know, no parties this year. Got some presents from our friends and family, and uh, had one of those freeze-dried cakes that kind of add water and watch it make itself, but uh, yeah, it was uh, interesting having a birthday alone, you know. So when was your birthday, by the way? Uh, November 29th. Oh, okay, so you actually uh, were 16 when you started off. And uh, so, but in most yeah, of yeah. Is, when you get into these ports, do you typically you are you able to get onto Skype? How does Skype fit into the trip? Uh yeah, Skype's been uh, pretty awesome on the trip, just because I mean you get to all these different places. As long as they have internet, you can talk to anyone in the world without having to worry about the uh, you know five dollar a minute uh, pay phones and all that. And uh, it's great just to see my friends and family back home as well. You know, just. Uh, plug in and talk and it's uh, free so it's all awesome you know so so do you do you have like a, a Wi-Fi set up or how, how do you get your internet uh, I have email over on the boat so it's just the single sideband radio I don't know how it works but it does and I also have um, satellite telephone even one of my sponsors uh, Clearpoint weather and they've uh, also sponsored all the time on that so I really uh, can just talk to anyone whenever I want on there so it uh, helps out quite a bit there and um, so, wait, yeah wait, other than that I have to wait till I get into port took up when you're out in the open waters you're able to use Skype as well no I'm not um, oh, okay. only when I'm in port oh okay and, and so when you're in port uh, you hop on the internet and uh, you talk to friends and relatives. It's, I guess, uh, it, it, the trip. Well, how lonely is the trip? I mean, is it, or you, or do you enjoy being by yourself? Yeah, yeah, I've been enjoying the trip. Wouldn't trade it for the world. I mean, it's very different. You know, I mean, there's been a lot of my friends that you know I've seen every day since I was like 12 or something that uh, I haven't seen for about uh, you know a few months now. That's getting. That's always hard, but. Um, you know, you look back and they're pretty much doing the same stuff. And I've sailed, you know, two thirds of the way around the world and never going to regret this trip. But yeah, I mean, the first three days that you're out at sea, you know, it's kind of uh, 
not so great because you're still used to the port and everything and uh, missing all the people from there. But after that, you kind of get in the zone and uh, kind of get used to it. So it's, uh, it's it's great. Time just flies when you're out there also. Hmm. So, I mean, do you read or what do you, I mean, do you, yeah, you, you don't, you're not, I mean, you obviously get to sleep out there too, right? But, I mean, what, what, do you, what, what fills your days up while you're out on the water? Um, yeah, I have my website, uh, zacksunderland.com, that um, I, have to, I do a daily blog on and post uh, different things whenever I get the chance. So I got to keep that up to date. Then I have, um, you know, respond to some letters, emails, and there's always, you know, the constant sailing, especially when you're in uh, close to shore. There's always tons of sailing, sail adjustment, different stuff to get the boat, keep it going nicely. And uh, then if all that's done, you study your uh, guides to the next port. There's always a fat book on the uh, next place you're going to. So got to be really familiar with the place you're going to because, you know, you don't uh, – I've never been to any of these places before. So you got to have the advice in there. And if that's all done, either uh, watch a DVD or read a book. So there's uh, plenty, of, plenty of stuff to do out there. Do you, do you encounter many other people along the way? Yeah, yeah, I made uh, quite a few friends on this trip. In fact, um, hanging out with a friend uh, quite a bit in Cape Town here who I met in Cocos Keeling in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And uh, we met up again while I was uh, here in Cape Town. So, in fact, uh, we're actually at his dad's uh, condo right now. He's letting us stay at. So, it's been, uh, it's been great. So, where, where, when do you uh, take off again? Should be off uh, next Wednesday or ne- my next Wednesday, so about six days. I'm heading across to San Helena from uh, from Tipton. <clears throat> and so, uh, <clears throat> so let's see. So we're we're already into February. So you get about uh, what five more months to go, huh? Yeah, um, probably a little bit less than that. Like I'm looking at. Uh, three to four, or possibly five, you know, um, depending on how long it takes me to get through the Panama and uh, get up the coast of Mexico because the prevailing wind blows uh, the opposite direction to where I'm going on that coast, so it should be a rough final leg there. Well, wait a minute now. So are you, are you going through uh, the Panama Canal, or are you going around the Cape of Cape Horn? Are you going all the way around South America? No, I'm going through the Panama Canal. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good shortcut then. Uh, so tell you what, I, th- I think I have have it for now. I want to wish you luck on the trip, and I hope uh, I hope I can talk to you a little bit uh, further along. See how you're doing. Right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, after I, yeah, yeah, it's good. After next Wednesday, my time, um, I won't be able to probably contact on Skype again until I get to St. Helena. So uh, just uh, let me know if you want to do something there or whatever. Okay, great. Well, listen, thanks for the help, and uh, have a great day. Good luck. All right. You too. Have a good evening. Bye now. All right. Goodbye.